What is up, y'all? Five fives that you definitely need to have in your box. These are my five confidence patterns at the moment. Uh, I'm going to give you three nymphs, and then I'm going to give you one dry fly and one streamer. So let's get into it. So my first nymph pattern is called the, the Pleva Nymph, and this is a pattern from Devin Olson. It's featured in his book, Tactical Fly Fishing. I believe he also has a tutorial uh, on how to tie it on either on his blog or on his YouTube channel. Um, and so I'm, that'll be put on the screen now. And so I really like this pattern. I'm trying to find where I put them in my box. I just tied up some last night right here. I really like this pattern. Uh, I tie, I've been, I just started using inverted beads, which is probably what the picture is on. Um, and I don't know, it's just a really simple tie. Uh, it's paired to go in style, so it sinks really quickly. Um, I've been fishing these Western rivers here in Colorado and, uh, I, I definitely am using a lot more weight than I was using back in Pennsylvania. Um, so these pair to go in style flies are really nice to get down really quick. Um, I, I really love an olive color, um, especially in the small 18 size. I normally fish most of my flies in size 18. Um, and this really nice, uh, small size 18, it's like a blue winged olive and, you know, those sporadically come off throughout the season so i mean there's always blue and olive nymphs in there there's always small nymphs in there this is a suggestive pattern um, it's got a hot spot get a little bit of extra attraction in it so my second fly which will go on the screen now is rich ferreira's open wound um, and i really love this pattern rich is a good friend of mine uh, this pattern is featured in um, George Daniel's second nymphing book, not dynamic nymphing, but the one that came out after, I can never remember the name. Um, and then I'm just a really big fan of the contrast between the black and the red. Um, even on like streamers, like when I fish big articulated streamers, like a sex dungeon or, or something like that, I really love black and red together. It's just, a um, it's appealing to my eye, but I also think the contrast really helps the fish. And again, they like a hot spot like that. And, um, just something a little extra to add some attraction and plus you know little black nymph there's so many little little black nymphs underneath those rocks especially with trichos coming off now it's a good trico imitation with a little bit of hot spot a little bit of difference so you stand out among all those naturals um and then my third and final nymph is of course the sexy waltz again this one's tied on an inverted bead um, this is actually the Dan's Waltz, to be completely correct. Um, and I probably already put that picture on the screen because uh, I forgot to say and do my whole little point thing. But um, so this is the Dan's Waltz. And so I don't tie my sexy waltz with a rib. Um, I just put gray dubbing and then a pink hot spot. Um, this is how my buddy Dan tied it and, and fished it leading up to... Uh, um, leading up to a competition we fished years back and I've fished it ever since. We both fished it ever since. And it's always been one of my best flies ever since. So definitely a good one. Definitely one you want to have in your box. Plus waltz worms, it's a staple. You want to have it. So, all right. So my next fly is a dry fly and I'll post it now on the screen. Um, so I can't remember what this is called. This is a fly tied by uh, Lauren Williams, um, a fellow New Yorker, if I do believe, uh, believe a former Team USA member. I think he's on the, um, the Masters team. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he's on the Masters team. Um, this is essentially like a little variation of Egan's corn-fed caddis. Um, the big difference being that it has foam underneath the body, and so that helps a little bit with flotation. Um, this is posted on his blog, and I'll leave the link to that in the description, just so I can give credit to Lauren, and you can go check out some of his stuff. Um, but this floats a little bit better, he, uh, Lauren says in his blog, because it's got this little foam layer. Um, and so, of course, the CDC is going to hold it up great, but this foam just adds a little bit extra flotation. Uh, it works great in, uh, like, more swirling currents, uh, not unified flat drifts, and this is a perfect fly to fish dry dropper. This is probably my go-to dry dropper fly, the first one that I put on. Um, I've also been fishing a lot of chubbies lately, but when I want something more natural, um, something that they're going to eat more consistently than a chubby, 
I put this on. I really love this pattern. Um, downsize too. Um, I get caught fishing a lot of size 12s, but don't be afraid to downsize. Really floatable pattern, and they do like these in a lot of smaller sizes. And so my last fly is going to be a streamer. Uh, I'll put that on the screen now. And so I don't actually have one to hold here for you right now. And that's because I don't have any in my box. I've lost all of them. I'll tie one up and I'll have a picture of it. But um, I really fish a lot of streamers this spring. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of fishing um, this summer on my own. But this spring, I did a lot of streamers on the Euro line. And this streamer worked really well. And I often fished two in tandem uh, and kind of jigged them. And I'll maybe make a video on that technique. Um, something I learned from uh, adapt adaptive fly fishing, Lance Egan and uh, Devin Olson's new uh, little film tutorial. And uh, I really love these flies, especially fishing in wind. Wind when you're nipping is so hard. You either have to fish dry dropper, um, get a really low sighter angle with your nymphs, or fish streamers. And um, I did a lot of streamer fishing with these, and I really, really love this tactic. And this fly worked really, really well for me. Um, and it's, you know, it's basically a woolly bugger, which is a staple in the fly anglers box. Um, but yeah, those are, those are my five confidence flies at the moment. Um, and I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all found value. I hope you guys give these flies a try if you've never tried them before. Um, they're really great. They've worked wonders for me. And, um, it's always important to establish new confidence flies and also have old ones and, uh, I'm going to be making a video on some of my my new confidence flies or flies that I'm I'm, I'm trying out um, to see if if I have confidence in them and see if I want them to be more staples in my box. Um, so I'll probably make another video with five more of those um, to share with y'all. But um, if you did enjoy and you did make it this far, please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe, all that stuff. Have tight lines. Get out there on the water. It is Friday. Uh, enjoy your weekend and uh, stay safe out there.